Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff and Griffin from Achievement Hunter. Hi there. And we are still doing I Am the Keymaster, Griffin, and this achievement, as oh you my know. Oh, God, it's taking forever. I know. It's to get 50 silver keys and four gold keys. We're going to be doing part five. This is 11 more. We'll get us so close, we'll only have five left after this video. So first off, in the city of Aurora, if you kind of follow along the left, Griffin, okay. and you go up here... Oh, that, oh, so, uh, you went right, but... No, no, no. This is the left of the city. The left so side of the city. like not your left, but somebody else's left. Oh, yeah, it's the shut up left. That's <laughs> what it's called. On the way to, uh, I think it's the, uh, well, what's that shattered something now you're sands? All you, you can't. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, the <laughs> fucking key is right there. The next one is like in the center of the town. Also go left again. You can use this giant wall you mean as go a right backdrop. Again? Oh, I hate Wait, no, so I'm sorry, much. but you were going right I was going left. left. It would be confusing. My hair is heading this. to the left. And uh, anyway, you come over here, vault down, and uh, right here, don't be sure not to miss it. You can vault down again, and then vault down again, and if you do one more vault, you'll be rewarded is, with a key. It's I a lot of vaulting. It's a cute little area. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, Aurora's a great place. Maybe my character should retire here. Should retire to Aurora? Well, it's not, yeah. yeah after you beat the game. I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't recommend it before. But not All right, so... Dark darkness demons are yeah, no, vanquished. No, no. This is Sandfall Palace, which you go through uh, when you're trying to get the giant gem, which, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, close your ears. You gotta get a giant gym. Okay, <laughs> then uh, just shoot the uh, flit switches. This will be on the left, like halfway through Sandfall Palace, and then you'll be uh, right over here, and you will find one of the two silver keys in Sandfall Palace. Bingo, bango! You can see the whole end at the at the uh, out from the distance there, and here we are in that distance. When you get into this room <laughs> at the very end, there's the giant diamond that you were sent on a quest to find, and if you, you know, for some reason run right through the little waiting pool. And then take a left. Maybe his feet were tired. Sometimes the sand can get hot because oh, there's right. nothing to deflect it. It's just like the down. sun beats it's like down a foot on bath. it. Yeah, so it's like a little foot bath. Anyway, on the left back there is the other silver key. Now in the veiled path, this is the very end of the veiled path. You go out that door and you leave, right? But instead, take a right. Is that right enough for you? Was that right? It was actually right. So yeah, yeah okay, it good. This time. All right, a little further back is going to be the enigma. And uh, I will show you how to get there. You're about halfway through. You can see you're coming up. If you take a left, you're going to go to that door we were just at. See? You can see it off in the distance. Mm -hmm. And instead, there's a not really a hidden door, but you could miss it pretty easily if you weren't paying attention, if you're not keyed into uh, such things. And if you go in here, there's going to be a whole lot of puzzle solving. But first off, let's go ahead and grab what's in this chest. I think it's some clothes or some shit. Uh, tattoo. There you go. And then uh, shoot the flit it? switch. Uh, it's, a, it's a probably like a shitty redneck tattoo. And, so wasn't uh, that cool, like a blade tattoo or anything? Awesome yeah, no, like it's like that. it's like an it's probably like an Aurora uh, like character, kind of like the fable version of a Chinese character, or like some sort of a medieval like barbed wire tattoo. <laughs> Not good. So anyway, after you clear that room out and you have to set the little fire things on fire next to the doors to get into this room, and then you'll get that uh, silver key. And then, but wait, we're not done in this room because there's a door you can't open there, and you got to figure out how to do it. It's a little uh, puzzle, as it were. And you can see there's these little lit fires, and they're blue and yellow and red. And then you look in the ground, and you go, hey, there's blue and yellow and red on the ground. So I'm sure you're smart enough to figure this out, but I thought I'd throw it in the video anyway. You can uh, stand on the middle and then start, and then just go in the order of the fires they, as they uh, appear. So yellow to blue to yellow, and then over to red, and then the next one's going to be blue, red to blue, red. And make sure you do it in the right order. If you fuck it up, you have to do it all over again, and it's annoying. And then once you do that, nothing happens, and then you go, oh, if I stand in the middle, there we go. Oh. And then a door opens up on the right, and you got to kill a dude, and a door opens up on the left, and you got to kill a dude. I guess you don't have to, but... If it you're a responsible spelunker, you should. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you go all the way here to the back, Griffin, and under this giant mouth is going to be dun, da, 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 a gold key, oh. one of only four in the game. Did, so, did the gold keys do anything? Like, yeah, they open silver. gold doors that have legendary weapons in them. Oh, Pretty okay. fucking cool. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Shifting Sands. If you come out and you're at the beginning of the Shifting Sands, if you head to the right, kind of follow up on this ridge, you'll find that one. Now, this next one is, that ridge was right at the end of that, I don't know if you saw that giant arch. This is on the other side of the giant arch where if you chose to, you built a military outpost. Go out the other door on the opposite side of where you were, and right over here on the left is going to be a silver key. And then from this point, Griffin, this point right here, Griffin Ramsey, you can see I'm showing it again right there. Mm -hmm. If you follow along this left side of the ridge, is that left enough for you? No, I, I was there. I remember this is me over there in the tights. Oh, yeah. There, so you know where we're doing. So you can explain. Oh, yeah, you just go over this ridge over here. So that, okay, you can go ahead. <laughs> All right, and then right <laughs> under this little uh, busted whatever the hell it used to be is going to be your next key. And uh, it's easy to walk under. I actually had trouble getting it for some reason. It's, uh, you can't jump. Trickily. No, there's no jumping in this game. Okay, so you can vault, but this was not a vaultable area. All right, so now I'm going to go back to Aurora for a second to explain how to get this one. 
in Aurora, in the middle of town, you can see right here, this is where all the vendors and nonsense are, right? Well, right over here to the left, right behind this, is the tattoo vendor. This guy right here, his name is like Wilhelm Von Tattoo or something like that. Then this guy over here with the question or exclamation mark, not a question mark, exclamation mark, he will offer you an ancient key. You need that key to open up this area over here. And I'm at the very back of the Shifting Sands. Like after we got that last key, just go all the way to the back and then kind of make your way on, kind of trail back on the left. And you'll see this kind of like castle-y thing off in the distance. I'm assuming you see what I'm talking about. I don't see a castle. Well, it's like oh, a... Oh, that right there? That's yeah, it's got like some ruins and whatnot. And eventually you can find in the... Here we go. Into this very easy to miss little door which opens up the crossroads of passing if you have that key that you buy for 4000 gold. Oh, you have to Okay, so you got to yeah. spend money on. This is and you have to invest. Yeah, you have to invest. <laughs> you have to invest in your achievements. And uh, there's a whole puzzle thing where you do much like the in the reliquary where you got to click on the right ones to get the door to make the floor appear. Right. And if you do it wrong, a billion enemies will fight you. But Didn't once we you fought every we fought every single enemy in right. the game in this room. <laughs> it was it was like a half Bad an hour of fighting. Yeah. I think we got every opportunity we had to make a wrong turn we did so did you edit that out so we know we're not yeah well i don't want to no i just they don't want to watch 45 minutes of us fighting enemies I, once eventually you'll get through it and then you can get to this key which i think was another gold key so now we only have five keys left griffin thank god 